Welcome back fellow Wargamers to the one-stop show for all things tabletop. That's right, this is On The Table. And this week we have loads of news from some of the biggest names in the wargaming world, as well as plenty of weird and wonderful models from across many, many ranges. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. The absolutely fantastic world of Carnivale has already played host to some amazing models for all the factions, all at each other's throats in the floating city of Venice. But it's about time some new personalities shook things up a little bit. This new wave of miniatures from Vesperon Games has begun with some rather familiar looking miniatures and then some that are just totally off the wall. If you fancy an insane looking masked king, then go for the King Puccinella. And if you're more into the mystical and elegant, then you could add the dancing Fatila Bint Dahab. For a disturbing night though, how about the morbid morgue doctor and his towering being ready to crush unfortunate innocents. Carnivale is absolutely one of my personal favorites. So I have to ask, is this looking like a game for you? The world of Infinity plays host to giant mechs, werewolves and aliens, but there are also the humans of Infinity World that have their own awesome models too. So when we heard the Shaolin monks were getting re-sculpted and coming back to the world of Infinity with a measured and calm bang, we were very excited. These Shaolin monks form part of one of the Yu Jing sectorial armies and are impetuous and brave, charging into the front lines to break down the enemy defense while covering allies with smoke grenades. Unbeatable in close combat, these Zen warriors are a devastating shock force on the table. It also helps that the models look amazing too. So how many of you guys are changing your faction of choice to Yu Jing right now? There's always odd creatures in the world of fantasy, but Alien Dungeons Fantaside takes it to a completely new level. This skirmish game worked on by Rick Priestley takes you into the magical and mysterious world of nowhere. Yes, you heard me right. This place is nowhere, yet everywhere. We've already seen some concept art for the locations, including the floating cities of the Kingdom of Odd, and even some gruesome looking monsters. But better than all of that are their models. Not content with the typical fantasy fodder, Fantasy Side includes the likes of flying monkeys and gorillas and deadly creeps with huge eyes bulging from their bodies. This has all got to be out of a particularly bad cheese nightmare, right? Well, we will keep you posted on Fantaside to see just how weird it really gets. With Dungeons and Dragons looking to expand its popularity with the progress in D&D Next and 5th edition, there's a surefire way to get people talking about your intellectual property. Make a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Neverwinter will be a free-to-play MMO, allowing you to take on your favorite races, classes, and battle the forces of evil, threatening to tear down the walls of your city. Some astounding artwork, amazing CG trailers, and in-game content has already wowed people waiting for this game. And we can only expect this to expand the profile of D&D for the foreseeable future. And who knows, we might even see a module for the newest pen and paper edition of Dungeons and Dragons based on the events of this sprawling MMORPG. I wonder if you can be a Sharkerosaurus. The Forge Fathers in Mantic Games were always going to be a firm favorite. I mean, who doesn't want science fiction dwarves in space? Well, they might have just got a little bit more awesome with a look at the Iron Ancestor. Adding some heavy firepower and melee support to your Forge Father army, the Iron Ancestor is a pretty incredible looking walker. With four armies ready for their Warpath universe, we should be seeing the expansion into new units across the board. But will it be a challenge to best the amazing looking Iron Ancestor? So, how many are you gonna field? What's better than rushing around as heroes trying to save the world in a fantasy setting? Nothing? Well, what about if you were heroes turned into mice, 
trying to save your king while dealing with the perils of traversing a castle suddenly dwarfing you in size. That might sound crazy, but it's the premise behind Played Hat Games' new board game, taking on the role of some of the king's most trusted servants shrunk down to furry little critters. You have to battle your way past perils, both magical and even feline. Featuring well-sculpted plastic adventure pieces, each with their own talents and character, this game deserves some replays. While this may not be a game for the most die-hard of dungeon crawling adventurers, this could be a great game for the family and maybe even for introducing people to the incredibly vibrant world of board gaming. On the fantasy side of the privateer press line is the news that Hordes, the partner game to War Machine, is getting a new two-player battle box. So now there's no reason not to grab this, a buddy and some dice and get playing. The Horde's battle box contains forces for both the deadly and rather toothy Legion of Everblight and the rather werewolf-tastic Circle Orbris. In the Beast of War studio, we think these are rather two exceptional forces to put into a battle box. And of course, the kit is entirely plastic and includes all the needed bits and bobs to get you started, so make sure to start your Horde's career and don't hesitate to head on over to Beast of War where we can help you on our forums. Infamy Miniatures have launched a campaign to fund their completely off-the-wall steampunk models from Victorian London. What started out as a way to fund the utterly astounding and mind-bending Dr. Watson model has turned into a push to get more models out, including the rather dastardly Edwina Hyde. These truly are some of the best-looking and original models we have seen in some time, and helping this studio out with creating new models to wow us with should be a definite must. After all, who doesn't want a fused vision of Inspector Gadget and Sherlock Holmes dashing around the streets of London, causing trouble? Hmm, where's my deer stalker? With the Peter Jackson film coming at the end of the year, anyone in charge of a game that follows the world of Middle-earth is getting ready to support The Hobbit. Fantasy Flight Games are no exception to this with their announcement of a saga expansion for their highly successful card game. Get ready for an adventure with The Hobbit, Underhill and Overhill. This expansion not only introduces you to the story of The Hobbit, but allows you to take control of The Hobbit and his dwarven companions as they trek to the den of Schmog the Dragon. Boasting new heroes, new encounters, plenty of new abilities, and even new treasure cards, this could make a whole new game of the basic Lord of the Rings set. So the only thing to do is to grab some pipeweed, put on your tweed jacket, and grow some hobbit hair on your feet. Then wait for the game to hit. Here at Beast of War, one of our favourite games is the Titanic War Machine. And not long ago, we managed to get to grips with the new Colossals rulebook, which brings some truly mighty machines to the tabletop. The team took an in-depth look at the new rules, answered a lot of your questions through a fantastic live chat FAQ session, and we even put together some army lists to help you get started, if your shiny syndrome had been triggered by the arrival of so many epic-looking models. That's not to mention the unboxing of the Signar Colossal Stormwall, which needs to be seen to be believed. So don't forget to head on over to Beasts of War for all your War Machine and War Machine Colossals information. I promise you, you will have a blast. Fire up the coal burners and turn on the Tesla generators, because Dystopian Wars is welcoming another powerful faction to its ranks. Raise your glasses of vodka, to the coming of the Russian coalition. That's right, the Russian bear has been well and truly poked, as the superb looking forces of the North roll, fly and cruise into the international wars of our steampunk past. An interesting mix of the old fashioned and even alien looking technology features throughout their range, continuing the originality that we've enjoyed from Spartan games before. Of course, the forces look like they could be a match for any of the factions already in the game, with their style focused on, well, what appears to be brute force. After all, why go around the enemy when you could just bulldoze right through them? Shiny Syndrome 
can be triggered by many things. Could be a deadly looking weapon or a particular pose. But lead adventures, well, they're going to get you with the sheer character oozing from their models. The company has ranges for modern, fantasy, and even steampunk gaming. Some particular favorites are the range of adventuring dwarves, where each model tells an amazing story, a range of modern infantry soldiers kitted out for deadly combat zones, and even a steampunk version of Alice and the Mad Hatter, straight out of Wonderland. If any of this stuff catches your eye, well, you can go and check out their website to see some of the other amazing models that are just begging to be picked up for roleplay and wargaming. Cthulhu. It's one of our favorite systems for roleplaying here at Beast of War, so when it looked like there was a chance to take the race to Sanity Zero into the world of Nazi scientists during World War II, well, we had to take a closer look. Acton Cthulhu is a supplement for Call of Cthulhu that sends you deep into the intrigue and horror of a world on the brink of collapse. As war rages all around, your characters must try and uncover a dark and sinister plot that could topple the very walls of reality. The first adventure for this system, named Three Kings, is out now, where your crack team must uncover what creepy goings on are happening in the daunting castle Karlstein. So grab your pistol, Turn off the lights and get ready for a dark and sinister role-playing experience in the theater of World War II. Privateer Press are best known for their War Machine and Hordes games, but did you know that they also do board games too? They have an interesting line of games from the Godzilla-inspired Monster Apocalypse to the tinkering of Infernal Contraptions. But where do you get a load of this one? Level 7 Escape is a semi-cooperative game where you play inmates locked in the deepest and deadliest part of a prison. Battling fear, deadly mutants, and human guards, and even your own cellmates, there can only be one objective, that's right, escape. There's no doubt that board gaming is going through a little bit of a renaissance at the moment, so we can see this game getting into many people's wish lists. Make sure you look out for it on Beasts of War in the near future. Drop Zone Commander has had us with jaws on the floor, drooling like idiots over its amazing looking models. And now this sci-fi mass battle games website has gone live. If you ever wanted to learn more about just what makes the Shaltari tribes tick, or how the Scourge are testing the might of the United Colonies of Mankind, well now it's all open for you to explore. As well as background and rules, there is also now the chance to pre-order their beautiful looking miniatures. We can see these models flying off the cyber shelves, so if you want to get a chance to grab some, you'd better be quick. Tabletop wargaming has taken place on vast battlefields, but what about underwater? Well, Antimatter Games have stepped up to fill the gap with their upcoming game, Deep Wars. As you can see from these images, Deep Wars is shaping up to be a really promising game, and we at Beasts of War cannot wait to see how this underwater concept plays out on the board. So grab your swimming gear and get ready to dive into the Deep Wars. Of course, an episode of On the Table just wouldn't feel complete unless we were giving something away. And this week, we're giving away a Protectorate of Menoth Vessel of Judgment. And all you have to do to win this is post a comment below this video on YouTube and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Well, we hope some of the awesome miniatures caught your eye and lit the fires of shiny syndrome within you. I know I have been drawn in by a fair few myself. Anyway, don't forget to check us out over on www.beastsofwar.com and of course you can catch us on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. Until next time folks, you have been watching On The Table. What's better than rushing around as heroes trying to save the world in a fantasy setting? Nothing. Well, what about if you were heroes? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Am I turning 15 again or 12 again? <laughs>